You know, it's kind of crazy when you talk about Crispin Wall and going back to that day and where were you at? How did you feel about it? What went through your mind? Did you believe it? There was so much crazy stuff going on during that time. And a lot of different theories about why Crispin Wall did what he did. Some people believe that after Eddie Guerrero passed away, Crispin Wall went through a depression which led to him to go completely crazy later on. Some people believe it was because he was abusing steroids. You know, believe it or not, Crispin Wall's personal doctor was sentenced to 10 years in prison for, you know, I think it was like overprescribing people with drugs. He got like 175 counts of, of pills or something like that, I don't know. But he was doing some sketchy stuff and his name was, um, Aston something the third. <laughs> I didn't get my facts straight on this. But but Crispin Wall's personal doctor was sentenced to ten years in prison for doing some sketchy stuff. To this day, people still believe that Kevin Sullivan set up Crispin Wall and his family. But I don't even know about that. I'll tell you guys this much. I do not believe Kevin Sullivan set up Crispin Wall and his family. I'm the person who does not believe that theory. I'm not going to go all the way into that. I just don't believe it. You know, here's actually a fun fact for you guys. My favorite match in the year 2000, also my favorite pay-per-view, was Fully Loaded 2000. And the main event was The Rock vs. Crispin Wall, which told an excellent story, a great match, and probably one of my most favorite matches of all time. I know. It's something you wouldn't expect from me, huh? But, um, to clear up this video, I'm gonna say this much. There's some questions people asked me in the past, like, should um, he be in the Hall of Fame? If he, didn't if he didn't do what he did, I'd say yes. But because of how people look at the situation and everybody's blaming him for what he did, then he should not be in the Hall of Fame, no. What, I, what do I believe happened? I'll tell you what I believe happened. I believe that his wife threatened to divorce him and he just made him go crazy and he killed her. Or, you know, that's my theory. I think that um, he, his wife wanted to divorce him because he's on the road a lot, whatever, and it was one of those situations where the situation went from a divorce, it went from, it was going to be a divorce to a murder and something crazy happening. If he had all those issues, something must have really hit him in his brain, and that's what made him do what he did. But that's just what I think anyways. You don't have to go by that. You don't have to believe that. You're going to comment in the comments below and say he's absolutely wrong about that. 
that's just my opinion of it. So he should not be in the Hall of Fame, and I think he just was about to go do a divorce, and he, you know, went crazy. But thank you guys for watching my little documentary on Curse Ben Wall. This is how I feel about him, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to, and um, in the future we'll see what happens with him. Maybe there'll be justice. Maybe what I'm telling you is completely false, or maybe he just was not a good person, and whatever. We'll never know the truth, whatever, but that's just what I think anyways, and that's all I want to say. Thank you guys for watching, and later everybody.